warm brownie a la mode in a waffle bowl. Today, today we are going with a dessert with our Iowa State Fair 2022 food tasting. Matt Wilkham, we don't know where he is. He's missing in action. So uh, Jimmy Olsen, Deacon Mark Campbell, Run DMC. Greetings, everyone. Um, Mark and I decided to dessert because he just had the shaved steak sandwich. Shaved yes. steak sandwich over at the depot. If you're familiar, that's uh, right in off the uh, main gate off of Grand Avenue. Yeah, right there on the Grand Concourse, right in the main gate. Uh, yeah, had the uh, which really amounted to a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Uh, quite delicious, quite satisfying. So we, uh, we, we opted for a dessert item to, uh, to, to test today or, or to enjoy and give our, uh, uh, what I presume is gonna be a favorable review based on the appearance when we first got it. We, uh, right. we, we picked it up over at the uh, Livestock Pavilion. Uh, was it is, dipped in chocolate? I think was what the is what the uh, sign says in front of it. That's the business there. Which they have a lot of things dipped in chocolate. They have what bananas? They had uh, a bunch of stuff, and and they have bubble tea. I know people that like bubble tea. They have bubble tea. They did. Well, it was yeah. strawberry, banana, a mango, and yeah, other ones. But anyway, yeah. So uh, so we're gonna we're gonna dive right into this. Uh, yes, mostly melted at this point. Uh, right. I, I gave you the little picture at the front, but yes, it is mostly melted already. But of course, it didn't help because the brownie came out warm. So you know that that uh, is the thing. And so stuck to the bottom of the uh, waffle bowl. So right. It takes so, a little bit of sensitivity, so it doesn't crush the the bowl. And then we've got ice cream everywhere. So here here we go. It's chocolatey, like you'd expect. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with the vanilla ice cream, you know, you get that good, that good taste in there. Vanilla flavor. I, I think, to be fair, I, I think it would have been uh, maybe better right out of right, right upon being served, as opposed to walking across the fairgrounds. The uh, possibly, but I mean, it's still kind of warm out. You know. Um, on the flip side, it is kind of what I was expecting. No real so surprise it's, here. Yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, it's not anything off. Here, here's, and this is a new item for the for that stand this year, which is why why we selected it. Kind of trying to seek out some of the new foods. Which, which last year they won the new food because that's the same um, location that had the peanut butter fluff, which was the 2021 State Fair Food of the Year. You know, um, fun fact. Yes. Uh, COVID destroyed my. Uh, my palate for peanut butter. I can no longer. Seriously, used I used to love peanut butter, and I'm not the only one who's who's made this uh, or had this happen. But uh, and I've tried multiple different brands, mm -hmm. but peanut butter has uh, always has like a, a rancid peanut taste, and it's uh, really yeah. And I used to love peanut butter jelly sandwiches, peanut butter on celery. Um, so you're good. you're pretty much out now. I'm out, but I'm not out on. We're gonna actually. I broke off a piece of the waffle bowl, and we're gonna right. taste that because. That's really the key to the that to, that to the would dessert. be absolutely. It's better than fortune cookie taste. Right. So it, it's, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, very very uh, very good flavor on the waffle bowl. Mm -hmm. so I will I'll, concur. I will mix it in with the ice cream and the brownie, which I I, I based on what I observed the. Uh, the young man behind the counter may have left the brownie in the microwave a little too a little too long. Was it it's the, not burnt? It's just petri it's, it's petrified to the bottom of the bowl. Was it the question when he asked how long should I put this in the microwave for? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, and when he got no answer, he just started pushing buttons and bright start. No, he actually he, he probably knew what he was doing. I I, I I just. But yeah. But I do feel like I am going to end up picking this up and just having to chew the rest of the bottom because I am I am I'm, I'm dipping as much as I can to get the the ice cream the melted ice cream because right. it is a little warm not as warm as it's gonna be tomorrow though that's right but it is warm so I'm trying to get so that way when I bite into it I don't have ice cream just falling everywhere well I don't know if we can uh, entertain them much longer with this uh no, but I, I would say it would, some, it would be something to check out. Six bucks, I think it's worth, uh, uh, along with the finisher yesterday, I think it's a good value as far as uh, food fairs uh, or fair foods go. Right. Um, it's a tasty dessert. Um, they do serve in this little bowl, so it's not too uh, too messy to eat. Which That's right, you, you get when the When you bowl. are eating at the fair, that is always kind of a concern of um, 
at least from my perspective, like how many wet napkins am I going to have to acquire to uh, to clean up after eating them? So it's a waffle bowl in a boat. Yes, in indeed it is. All right, so we'll hey, see you, you have, again uh, next and, time. And if you have a, a, a food fair, a fair food, a fair food favorite that you're not sure that we've tried yet, right? Or sure. if you want to, you want us to sample it before you come out, so you, so you know whether it's worth uh, worth it. Uh, by all means, uh, put that in the comments uh, mm -hmm. or, or hit us up with, with a direct message, and we'll uh, we'll put it on our, our on our schedule of events. Absolutely. So there you go. 2022 Iowa State Fair, day number two. Dose. Be sure to find us west side of the Bill and, and Bill Riley stage here at the uh, Iowa Catholic Radio booth. So we will chat with you soon.